All right, let's leave Earth and travel to the edge of the observable universe. As we rise above our planet, remember this. Earth is the only place we know with life, so far. Leaving the solar system, the sun becomes just another star, one entre 200 billion in the Milky Way. As we pass through our galaxy, here's a fun fact. The Milky Way is so huge that even traveling at light speed, you'd take 100,000 years to cross it. Beyond the Milky Way lies the local group, home to our neighbor Andromeda, which is actually moving toward us one day, our galaxies will merge. Now entering the vast cosmic web, a structure of filaments and voids stretching across the universe. Some of these voids are so empty that you could travel hundreds of millions of light years without encountering a single star. As we keep going, distant quasars appear supermassive black holes so bright they outshine entire galaxies. And beyond them, we see the cosmic microwave background, the oldest light in the universe, a relic from just 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Finally, we approach the edge of the observable universe, roughly 46 billion light years away. Not because the universe ends here, but because light from beyond this point hasn't reached us yet. The farther we travel, the more we realize the universe is far bigger, older, and stranger than we can imagine. And this entire journey started on a tiny blue dot called Earth. Let's go to the planet closest to the cosmic void and see what's out there. First, we need to find it, which will be pretty difficult since we're traveling at the highest speed possible. We'll start by locating the galaxy closest to the void, and inside it, we'll head to the solar system nearest to the edge. That's where we'll find the planet with a direct view into the end of the universe. What do you think it's going to be like? 